everyone welcome back to my channel I know it's been over a month since I've made a video but I've just been busy with school and two jobs and whatnot um, just this is gonna be the look that I am going to show you guys today and that you are going to accomplish uh, this is actually a look from last week for Sephora it is one of the weeks that we're doing holiday looks and well this is kind of sort of it this is my rendition of it. Uh, Kyla, she actually was one of the makeup artists to come up with the idea, so this is my inspired look from it. Yes. Um, so, yes. I hope you guys like this, and if you don't, don't watch it, and if you do, keep on watching. Yep. Also, please don't forget to follow me on Instagram on my makeup page. Um, it would be very kind of you to do so. I'll leave a link down below as well as somewhere up here. Yes. Yes. So thank you guys again and let's get into the video. First off, I'm going to use this Professional from Benefit. It's going to really help diminish my pores and act as a primer. And then I'm going to use this orange corrector from LA Girls to correct my under eyes. Then I'm taking this setting powder and just putting it on top of that concealer just so it can really help correct my under eyes and my dark circles. And I'm just filling in my brows now. If you guys want to see a tutorial on how I fill my brows, just leave a comment down below as well as give this video a thumbs up. To highlight my brows, I'm going to use this concealer from NARS and use this concealer brush from the Sephora collection. And I'm going to go from the ends of my brows to the front and blend down. And then for on top, I'm going to start from the ends as well and then work my way forward. So I did one eye right now and here's a close up of this just to show you real quick. So for my transition color, I'm using the 350 palette from Morphe, and I'm using a orangish brownish color. And for the inner and outer corner of my eye, I'm going to be using the Lime Crime Venus palette in the color Muse. It's a really pretty berry color. And I believe this is a Morphe brush as well. I can't think of the name, but I'll post it down below in the description box. And with the blending brush from Revlon, I am going to blend it towards the center above in the crease. So now I'm going to be taking Black Heart from the Naked 3 palette from Earned by Decay. Um, this is in my Z palette, which is really helpful. I love depotting it. So I'm going to be using that color in the crease and in, I'm sorry, yeah, in my crease and the inner corner of my eye so I can just darken up the eye. So now I'm just doing a drop shadow. I'm going to be taking Muse from the Venus palette again and just putting it under my eye, as you can see. And then I'm going to be taking this liquid glitter liner from NYX and put it in the middle of my under eye and in the space that I didn't apply any eyeshadow. This is going to kind of act as like a little glue for the glitter that I'm going to be setting on top since I don't have any glitter primer at the moment. And I'm just going to take this random glitter I got from Sally's and apply that on top in gold. And then I'm going to be using my Armani foundation to put this all over my face and using a beauty blender to blend it out. I'm also using this micro beauty blender just to get in those cracks and places I can't get. So now I'm just highlighting my face with this Prep and Prime highlighter in Light Boost from MAC. As you can see, I won't have to explain where I'm putting it, you can just watch me do it. But I'm kind of putting a heavy load just because I want to cover my dark circles. 
and just anywhere that I want to cover any dark spots. And I'm going to be blending it out with the Beauty Blender again. And when I do my under eyes, I like to start from the bottom and work my way up. I'm going to take another step in highlighting. I'm going to take that same concealer I used for my brow bones to highlight just under my eyes just to really bring out my eyes so you can really not have the dark circles. And I guess I forgot a step so I'm adding this Mud Cosmetics black liner to my waterline. And looks like I missed the step of blending it out and I just baked my face. And now I'm just bronzing right now with my Real Techniques brush and an LA Colors uh, contour powder. So now I'm just going to bronze out the hollows of my cheeks just to get it prime some more for the contour, the heavy contour I'm going to be doing for my face. Um, normally when I bake, I don't really have my eyes done. I would be doing my brows at this point, but because I did a little bit of heavier eyeshadow, I thought it'd be best to do it this way. So now I'm going to contour with the BH Cosmetics Contour and Blush Kit number 2 and taking a fan brush and really getting in there to darken that contour. So now my cheeks are going to look even more slim, yep, mm -hmm. And I'm going to also contour a little bit of my nose. And now I'm taking this Real Techniques brush to brush off that excess powder from baking. And I'm going to also blend out a little bit of that contour that I have on my face, just to make it a little bit less harsh. So now I'm going to add a little bit more of the powder from LA Cosmetics, or I'm sorry, LA Colors, and just bring out my cheeks some more and make it contoured. This is another brush from the contour set from Morphe. I'm going to use this to blend it out a little bit more of my contour. And then I'm taking this blush called Glow Baby Glow from Flower Beauty and applying that to my cheekbones and apples on my cheeks to bring color to my face. I really love this color a lot. It's like one of my go-to. And then now I'm taking the Belka Champagne Glow and using Champagne Pop with my fan brush and applying that to my cheekbones and on my nose and as well as my Cupid's bow. And it's crazy right now because that dewy look is really in and that highlighting and strobing stuff is really in so I'm gonna really highlight my face so sorry not sorry so now I'm taking my holy grail mascara the lash sensational from Maybelline I love all of this stuff. And now I'm just taking Clown White again and putting in the inner corners of my eye just to brighten up my eyes a little bit. And I'm going to take a, blush, a brush just to blend out a little bit. So now just pick your favorite lashes and put them on. And I'm going to line my lips with this Glide On Pencil from MAC in Morning Coffee. You know, I did not know that they had Glide On Lip Pencils because this one is amazing and I love it. And I love this color. Morning Coffee is so pretty. And I'm going to apply that to all over my lips as well. Then I'm going to take Lolita from Kat Von D, my absolute new favorite liquid lipstick, to finish off this look. Now I'm going to use this setting spray from Urban Decay All Nighter, and I'm going to use kind of a lot. So here's the finished look, guys. Hope you like it. Ooh. 
Alright, so that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, it really means a lot that you guys are still watching and still subscribing. Um, I know I haven't been here too much, but I'm going to do more. Um, gonna do more. Yeah, so please, 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 if you haven't done so already, subscribe and also follow me on all of my social medias. And yes, thank you guys. Let's have a great rest of your day or night or whoever you is and stuff. Bye, thank you.